Quibus, we saw that Anglo Platinum was down more than 5% today, and the, the platinum sector as a whole was also down on that news. Is that the fact that it could probably be um, more focused on the platinum sector as a whole as only, um, only kept to Anglo-American Platinum in this case? Look, I mean, the, the whole sector basically experienced obviously the lower basket prices um, that, um, that that all of, you know, that's what we've all seen on all their numbers, you know, so consequently, you know, margins are under pressure. But I think in Anglo Platinum's um, case in particular, um, they've had some volume issues which they did point out after the, their first quarter numbers, um, you know, release. And, and basically what they've done is they've done some maintenance work on the, on the, on the processing side. And it seems like, um, you know, they haven't managed to get that uh, processing side up and running as quickly as they, as they thought or actually as they intended to. And um, I think what one has seen uh, maybe um, what one will see um, in these numbers um, when they do report the interim results is that the actual uh, metal sold is much lower maybe than a lot of people anticipated. And, and obviously that, that feeds through um, to, you know, to the bottom line in terms of, of, of earnings, you know. And prices also, you know, they, they did make mention of that as well, um, that it's under pressure. Um, and as we know, you know, the whole industry at, 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 at the moment is, um, um, is, is under pressure. That's right. We saw the drop in, in Lonman's first half earnings coming out in, uh, for till the end of March, and that was down by 1.2 of 120 percent from the from the previous six months. Um, so it looks like the whole industry is experiencing this cost pressure coming from different areas. We know that th that power has been a significant driver in cost for these mines, um, and that also affects, like you mentioned earlier, the fact that they when they do maintenance, that is a big driver there as well. Then also we see the government intervention there with the safety stoppages. How big an effect do you think that had on this this um, trading update today? Yeah, look, I mean, you know, you're right. I, I guess if one sort of look at, at, at Stats SA mining figure, in particular the PGM space, one can see, you know, the, 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 the number since the beginning of this year has, 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 um, has been um, in, the, in the deep red. You know, it's been, uh, you know, very big negative numbers that sort of come out on a year on year basis. So, and I think, you know, almost like every company had these specific issues. You know, obviously on Impala side, it has been the, the six week strike um, that they experienced um, that cost them about two and a half billion rand. Um, you know, Lonman had the, had, had the own issues in terms of, um, you know, on, 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 on the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the um, Increasing the, or the, the plan to increase capacity. Obviously, there was also some flexibility issues, and obviously now on, on Anglo Platinum, okay. we've, we've heard uh, today, you know, and, and obviously from a more from a processing side, one would say. But I think, you know, in general, um, you know, safety stoppages that we've seen, you know, sort of the the, the rate of, of occurrences during um, quarter four last year, maybe the start of quarter one year, uh, quarter quarter one this year, has actually improved. And, you know, so I think from that perspective, um, you know, it is a little bit better, although we have seen obviously a lot of that um, bad news and, 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 and a lot of downtimes sort of still sitting maybe in the numbers that we'll see coming through um, during the first six months um, when the companies do report. And, you know, and I think in general, you know, the companies are looking at the portfolios and, and, and they are looking to, to see where, you know, where can they sort of be, um, you know, which areas can they optimize, you know, we we all obviously have heard of the, of the restructuring that's under, uh, in, in process um, on, on Anglo Platinum that, it, that Anglo American is doing as a whole um, on the company, you know, and, and I think from that side one will most, most, most probably see towards Thanks, the second half as well. That was Quibus Nile Mining Analyst at Standup.